Alright, so lesson five, food preserving and processing methods. In this podcast, I will go over, like I said, processing methods and way to preserve food and how it relates to chemistry. Alright, so food preservation is described as the process of treating and handling food in such a way as to stop or greatly slow down spoilage to prevent foodborne illness and extend its shelf life. That's from dictionary.com. And basically, in my own words, is to show slow down the activity of disease causing bacteria as well as to kill the bacteria at uh, altitude altogether. All um, food processing methods that are used are refrigeration and freezing, canning, irradiation, which is like pasteurization, but cold pasteurization, dehydration, freeze drying, pickling, pasteurizing, fermentation. How it works is, all the food preservation processes work by slowing down the activity and growth of disease causing bacteria or by killing the bacteria altogether. They also slow down or stop the action of enzymes which can degrade the quality of the food. Pasteurization is a great example of how it slows down um, bacteria because it doesn't kill the bacteria altogether when it's put in the fridge. And so as the temperature goes up or down, it correlates with the water activity as well as the pH levels. All food containing bacteria, un, uh, all food contain bacteria unless it is sterile, and by sterile I mean that it's unaffected. Okay, so bacteria naturally living in milk will spoil the milk if left outside. However, by putting it in the fridge, you slow down the bacteria, but you don't kill all the bacteria. So in some cases, a preservation could possibly destroy enzymes, which are naturally found in the food that cause it to spoil quickly. To review, an enzyme is a special protein that acts as a catalyst for chemical reaction enzymes are fairly fragile. By increasing temperature of food to 66 degrees Celsius, enzymes are destroyed. Common methods are drying, smoking, freezing, vacuum packs, salting, sugaring, pickling. These are um, preserving methods. And drying is the most ancient method used by humans and it reduces the water content in the product and lack of water delays the bacteria growth very much. Drying is the most common technique to preserve or process cereal grains such as wheat, maize, oats, rice, barley, grains, and rice. Okay. Many foods such as meat, fish, and others are pro- Oh, smoking is when many foods such as meat, fish, and others are processed and preserved by this method. Um, very simple as the combination of smoke to preserve food without actually cooking it and the aroma of hydrocarbons generated from the smoke processes the food and makes it even tastier to eat. Okay, Freezing is conducted in big cold storages which can stockpile huge amounts of foodstuffs which can be used in national emergencies. A wide range of products can be frozen to preserve and process. Back in packs. Okay. These are like Ziploc bags. Food is packed in airtight bags and bottles in a vacuum area. Used in processing food as the airtight environment doesn't provide oxygen, which is needed by the germs, especially bacteria, to survive. So then it prevents food from getting uh, rotted because it uh, prevents bacteria to survive. Okay. Salting. In salting, meat would be the best example because nitrates are used very frequently to treat meat. It's used in fraud pr food processing as it sucks out the moisture from the food, which is done through the process of osmosis. Sugaring. Uh, foods are cooked with sugar until they are crystallized and then it is stored dry. This method is very frequent when it comes to preserved foods. Clean. Food is cooked in chemicals and materials which destroy microorganisms. It's very commonly seen in vegetables such as cabbage and peppers. So that was a quick lesson about food um, preserving and processing methods. And that is it to my podcast. However, I will have two extra lessons on your way. All right.